and I think I figured out why I can't get it, the, the camera to stay in this part right here. I hadn't really thought about it. I was thinking more about this, but this part, since it has like the thing I'm using is for vlogs more so. to shoot but then it was super gloomy so when it was super gloomy I wasn't going to whoops I just put that in upside down dang it now I gotta redo this put all the effort in putting it one way then I grab it the wrong way yeah, yeah, yeah. Potato, uh, potatoes, uh, sour cream, onions, or uh, maybe not onions, sour cream, bacon, and, uh, all the things. So I don't eat meats, because I'm weird. I was asked them to take out the bacon for me. year it went up to seven which is not bad because they're really big usually so it kind of balances out but I was kind of bummed since as I was mentioned I don't always have the most money but if you saw my last video about all those bike parts I got talking about money I woke up a couple times this morning Saturday the 25th and I kept falling back asleep for whatever reason just wasn't feeling it uh, but I had listed a few items last night yesterday morning last night and later on Thursday after I got home and one of the nine speed sprockets I listed last night was sold for 55 and I got it for free so clearly a good deal on my end I kind of goofed though and the buyer was annoyed because I did it on eBay and since I don't know anything about the item and I don't want to look it up I just did went to someone else's listing but it was a new one and I did sell one like this so it just preloaded everything which was all right, but I took out where it said new in the description and the title, but 
I forgot to, because I was listing multiple items, take switch it to used in the small item description where it has very the details. I didn't want to look up the smaller description above the full description. But obviously it when he sent me the offer, I guess he didn't read the full thing because though it did say new there, if you actually read the description, I put you good use condition. So most anyone else, myself included, would see that it was an oversight. But I didn't give him a hard time since he sent me such a good deal. Oh my bad. I just told him. <coughs> I copied someone else's listing by doing the someone like this and I missed that one spot he was referring to so most anyone would see that if it said new there but used in the full description as well the pictures because that's what he said he was like there's not new there's no way this is new it's well used I was like oh yeah sorry sometimes I miss it or I thought I changed it and I might have sometimes you may change I don't know about other people sometimes the ebay app glitches for me and i'll change something but then it'll go back after i hit after i do it the way i want it it'll for whatever reason go back to the variation it was so that's why sometimes i don't like using sell one like this even though having everything autofill helps sometimes I don't use it but if it's a bike part such as this scenario and I don't want to look it up and it's something I'm not familiar with that's when I use it because it's very helpful but I also get weird that sometimes they don't put the right information. So sometimes I'll look it up just to be certain before I publish. In the midst of making a listing, I'll have everything autofilled and then do a little research to make sure all their information is right just because I'd rather take the few seconds or minutes how long it takes to do a little background check on the item make sure they didn't add any incorrect or misleading info but most people are buying it probably no more than I do I always assume and hope Like I always say, I'm more of a single speed and fixed gear guy. And even with that, I don't know that much. More of a basic, basic biatch. I just know what I know, which isn't that much. I learn as I go for myself as well for items I resell or if I fix up a bike to sell or fix it up for myself learn as I go alright let's see I need to buy some time I don't know what time it is I turned my phone off because it was losing battery before I got into Vallejo, but 
right before I turn on the camera, it's completely dead. I don't know if it turned on while I was riding, which is weird because as soon as it gave me the 20% notification, I turned it off. So that was annoying, especially because I only used it for like 15 minutes. Because I had too much running. It's the iPhone 5. I'm just using it because my Android broke and out of my three iPhones that in the two iPhone 6s it's the only one that was unlocked <laughs> so I didn't have to buy a new phone I just chopped up my sim card enough to make it small enough to fit into the sim card tray for the iPhone because <coughs> I'm a rebel alright what time is it Exciting groundbreaking content I know. I had someone not harass me about my short shorts. I was surprised. He was like right on and he gave me the rock horns. Surprise. Much more up my alley. They're way too short. They leave nothing to the imagination. I'll tell you that much. Okay. All right, it's almost noon, which means I can go home. Go this way home. My mom does a uh, Zoom church meetings uh, every Saturday morning from 9.30 to anywhere between 11 and 12. Sometimes it can vary. So since normally it wouldn't matter when I got walked in if she was doing one of her other Zoom calls well, this is one of the few ones throughout the week that she actually talks and since I never know how the dog is going to react when I open the front door if I do leave early like I did today on a Saturday I always try to come back when it's over or about to be over because she has to talk more than one time she's one of the she does the announcements so yeah awkward stuff since the dog is so unpredictable but she is predict it's kind of hard to say i would say she's predictable at the front door but I don't know most times she is but there's that off day where she might not be so you know I factor it in to see what's up ah. alright got 20 minutes to kill Should just ride my bike home because it takes me like 15 to 20 minutes from here. Anyways, I 
and I'm all sweaty because I have a hoodie on but having little to no pants on kind of balances it out in a way probably should have went when I first got here but oh well need to catch my breath There's the ferry to San Francisco, if you want to know. Very enchanting. So expensive. It's like 18 bucks one way, or it used to be. It could be more now. I don't know. The only time I used it was a couple times when my dad worked in San Francisco. He had me and my sister meet him there. Or go in with him in this situation but I think it was free or discounted one of the two could be wrong if I commute to San Francisco from here I'd probably do it too but at that at that point in time, there was a bus that also went to San Francisco, but they discontinued it randomly, which I was kind of wild because my dad would sometimes take that. Didn't know until recently, speaking of birds, that the movie Birds was filmed like 45 minutes away from here, something like that. I don't know my averages. Maybe an hour, Just give or take, depending on traffic and the exact location. But not too far, maybe a little more than an hour. Uh, I really extended this ride by going the furthest way in each direction wall just so I would have the chance to arrive sometime around noon or slightly after I could have gone deeper into Venetia but I didn't I'm kind of glad I didn't go any deeper because on the way back I had to pull into a parking lot and readjust my cranks again they felt a little funky and when I went to get a drink of water at the water fountain at the park that goes between Vallejo and Benicia right before I got on I uh, shook the crank to see what was up and I was kind of annoyed that it came loose again mostly because I didn't ride yesterday I felt kind of sick because how hot it was and then when I was going to go ride I found out my friend, my parents friends were going to have a, a party, a surprise party for my dad so I ended up having to stay home to watch my dog which was fine but I had wanted to go on a evening ride since I didn't go out but then I had a sale on eBay for a calculator 
So I got well. I'll go out in the morning because I already planned to. But then they hadn't so they hadn't paid. So I was glad this the cassettes set. The nine uh, the twelve speed sold this morning because then I was forced to leave. I might not have. Some most mornings I get lazy. Depending on the more the specific day and what time I woke up, I don't know, is that the energy? Since I slept in today, I had a little bit more in me once I was awake for like an hour since I got a little bit more sleep. Usually that doesn't help me, but this is one of the off times it does. Usually, usually I'm weird and I'm one of those weird people that the more sleep I get, once I'm awake, the more tired I am. The less sleep I get, the more awake I am. It's a very weird turn of a... It's a very weird dynamic, I know. I don't understand it, I just deal with it. Maybe because how bad my insomnia used to be, there's some kind of... My body is weird because I used to barely sleep. I live off like zero to three hours of sleep a day for long stretches. Usually I hate going up this hill. Not because it's hard, it's just very busy because it goes all the way through Vallejo into American Canyon into Bend then eventually Napa even though it changes names a couple times still the same road just different name depending on where you are so there's just a lot of traffic on both sides, or at least one side, but I lucked out. Sometimes I do, most of the time I don't. I think I figured out the culprit for the noise. It might be this arm. Because when I put it in earlier, before I left the house, it wasn't functioning correctly. So I might have to put it aside. Because normally, when I use a chest mount, that's silent. But, since I put it on just now, as you can probably hear, since I can hear it, there's some clanging, and all I'm doing is walking. So something, or something else. Yeah, because if I hold it, it's not as bad. If I push down on the cage, Oh, I'm tired. Road like 15 miles. No, 12 miles. Something like that. Not completely sure since I did. took the longer routes than I normally do. So it's a little bit longer maybe than normally where I stopped 
and turned around at, I think it was like 10 miles, 11 miles, normally. Maybe eight, eight or nine. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Excuse me again. Love me. What should I have for lunch, guys? Comment below. I'll eat it next time. You know this. Uh, hopefully, I hadn't thought about it till just now. Hopefully my allergies don't get triggered with the season change, but it's still been feeling like summer, even though Wednesday, which was my dad's birthday, was supposed to be the first day of autumn or fall, whichever one, but it was like 92 Wednesday, and it's been like anywhere between 80 to 92 since Thursday so crazy very area weather probably say hot until November December hard to say but it has been getting colder since 2014 ish and the nighttime so much getting down to like 25 to 30 All right, I'm out of here. Better be home. See you later. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please the algorithm.